So when I talk to people in their last days, their last days, older Christian people in their last days, the thing I heard hear over and over again that what they regret most is they didn't get off the fence earlier. And they explain that is, I didn't start doing the things that God wanted me to do until later in life. And uh, the things that God wants us to do are so important. The problem is we usually focus on the things God doesn't want us to do. And we go, well, as long as I'm not doing this or I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm okay. But I'm not going to get very active in what I'm supposed to be doing until later, you know, because I've got this to do and this to do and this to do. Look, I... I think most of us don't think about this, but the Bible tells us very clearly that not doing something we're told to do is as bad as doing things that we're not supposed to do. Think about that for a second. And the more, the longer we're Christian, and the longer we hear sermons, and we don't do the things that God is asking us to do, the more it weighs on us, the more it... Uh, see, when we're disobedient, we we kind of put up a block, a spiritual block. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I talked about being spiritually depressed. We put up this spiritual block, and what happens is it, it, it shrinks down the power we have through God's Spirit in our life. You know, just like... Just like a lot of things we do are driven by emotion, right? Well, as believers, we, we, our goal is to do things that the Spirit empowers us to do. So, but we deaden that or depress that urge to do what the Spirit tells us to do when we're not obedient. Does that make sense? Here's a, here's a scripture that uh, James, the... Uh, brother of Jesus wrote in the book of James, uh, he says, and, and this is right at the end of him telling us not to rely on, not to depend completely on everything we do working and working out the way we want uh, and, and being more focused on being obedient. Then he says, uh, remember, it's wrong to know what you ought to do and then not to do it. And it's so weird. It's like throwing in there right at the end of this section. So he's telling us how this stuff is wrong. But then he says, and then <laughs> it's wrong not to do what you're supposed to do. You ever think much about that? Uh, God puts somebody in your path that you're supposed to be kind to. Um, God tells you to forgive somebody and you haven't forgiven them. Uh, God says don't offend somebody. Uh, God says build people up. Uh, God says let people uh, let people know about Him through your actions and the way you do things. We think about that. Hey, my name is Royal. I'm pastor of Life Connection Church, and I do these talks three to five times a week in the morning. And, uh, and today the focus is, are we doing the things that we're supposed to do? When God puts things in our paths, uh, a challenge, when we get a challenge at work, are we doing that the way Jesus would want us to do that? Or are we more about what we want for ourselves? That's the key. And that's our prayer for me always, and that's my prayer for us. Hey, let me pray for us. Father, Lord, today, today, let's start off with today. Lord, May we do today what we know that you want us to do. The things that we avoid and think, ah, oh, it's no big deal if we don't do it. Would you make those a high priority for us today? I thank you for that. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, I'm Royal. I'm pastor of Life Connection Church in North Euless. If you're looking for a church home and you're in our area, would you be my guest at 9.15 or 11 o'clock on Sundays? If not, then join me back here. Uh, for these talks. Um, I will be back next time if the good Lord will and, and the creek don't rise. But until then, uh, practice doing the things that you know you're supposed to do. If you got any comments, put them in the comments. If you have a prayer request, put them in the prayer request and we will pray for you. Thank you. God bless.